Hey guys, me and Dean here. Welcome to a game of StarCraft 2. My opponent will be the Red Terran uh, Kunhyung, I guess. That's as close as I'm getting. You can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. You guys usually do. You're awesome. Anyway, I'll be Blue Zerg. And since I am doing, once again, 14 full, 13 gas, and then spamming up to 15 for my Overlord, we'll be watching the Terran. And once again, we have a very interesting happenings here. This is the second time in a row I've played a Terran where he did not choose to wall off. So I'm sending my Overlord Scout. This is crazy. I'm seeing a lot more of this. Maybe they're practicing? I don't know. Or maybe they want their barracks sooner. I mean, practicing for when you can't open racks first. But most wall-off Terrans don't open that racks first anyway. I just don't quite understand this. Anyway, since Scrap Station has a very short flight distance, and you know where your opponent is, for a change I don't send my 13 drone scout, and just leave him in so I can see with the Overlord, and then as soon as he starts training the Marine, peace out, get out of there, because otherwise you're going to get shot down. I do see a second barracks, don't see the third barracks. And run away, run away! And yeah, I, I will get away, and without... Uh, even coming all that close to dying, he barely got over half of my hit points off. So, I'm doing okay there. He scouts me with an SCV, sees me drop a Roach War in. Um, <laughs> gum copying through Cellar, I gotta say. Dropping a couple extra tech buildings. It's kind of like a fake out. Makes it a little bit harder to predict what exactly the Zerg is doing. Meanwhile, I decide to take the Zalnaga Tower as well as run, uh, check out the expansion, and then up the ramp. And I get gibbed by like a bunch of marines. I'm like, oh crap. This guy is probably going... I mean, look at this. Five barracks marines. Wow. So he's uh, up to 13 marines. I have one zergling, one roach. Start training stuff. And as soon as I saw those marines, I'm like, baneling nest. Right now. I also made a spying crawler. Because uh, this guy is pushing hardcore. And yeah, here he comes. Second, I get Baneling Nest completes just mass Banelings because this is trouble. If I had expanded here and not just gone like st standard Zerg tech and scout read, like if I did 15 hatch, I'd be dead. I would be losing my expansion right now. But uh, I didn't. <laughs> so he can kiss his Marines goodbye. But yeah, that's kind of a Terran version of an all in, I guess. I don't think he really scouted me much past the Roach War and earlier. And a Roach Warren isn't something that would really prompt you to spam Marines. I mean, Marines aren't ineffective against Roaches, but they're not great either. So I decided to run after him with Zergling, see if I can pick off some extra units. Wasn't really expecting uh, his Marines to turn and fight here. I wasn't even looking here at first. Now I'm looking here. Yeah, it's pretty close. Finally, he uh, decides to quit on his five racks play. He starts pulling his marines back. I guess he realized it didn't work. I actually have Bane Link sitting here too, just in case I needed them. I didn't. I deliberately didn't run them down there because they would have just blown up on like one or two marines, and I didn't want that to happen. Inject, inject, inject! Come on, macro! Oh no! No, instead I'm gonna try to build some evolution chambers first. Double evolution chamber proness. Yeah, because you still see so many pros doing that. Although the really good Zerg pros do get Evo Chambers and upgrade. Or at least some of them. I know Fruit Seller does it. I've seen some others do it as well. I think it's neglected too much, although I say that in like every other video or so. Anyway, this guy's still going Marines. And I'm going to see that. I'm going to get shot there. Not cool. And my response is to grab my Overseer, which I've recently created, and send him down. Take a peek at things. Meanwhile, starting to, uh, well, no, after seeing the Marines, I suspected that he was still going a lot of Marines, so I started cranking Zerglings. Uh, I notice I'm also getting centrifugal hooks and Zergling speed, and I drop a little Changeling in here, and he is not going to notice it. Haha. Uh -huh. So I get to see everything. Starport, Factory, I'm seeing him try to transition in tech. I also get to see really all of his army here. Oh boy. <laughs> My response to this? Well, let's just watch. Yeah. This is going to be a late, late Baneling push. Although, I mean, given what I saw, I, I knew it would work. He's got nothing yet. He's trying to transition to factory units, but he does not have them yet. 
So off we go. And uh, hopefully I'll be rallying my forces over shortly. Oh, he even pulls a scan. Apparently he uh, felt inclined to click on my lair. Absolutely. I don't know, he probably felt like clicking on something. Spamming uh, APM. Oh, he's almost as uh, slow as I am. That's cool. All right, well, let's go to the uh, units tab here. 20 Marines, 1 Siege Tank, to 35 Zerglings, 16 Banelings. Huge, huge advantage for me right now, even though I'm Psylocke. I mean, we look like we have the same uh, amount of army, but based on what I saw of his composition, I wasn't worried. I'm actually microing these Banelings to move straight for the Marine Cloud, and they actually blew up the bunker on their way over. A changeling is still sitting there. <laughs> yeah, at this point, is, there's really not a lot he can do. And that's his whole army gone. I still have plenty of zerglings. So, if he's, you're not going to wall you sh and you throw away that many marines, I, it's time to wall. I know I hate the wall so much, but, I mean, come on. If you're not going to use them to train units, and I guess he was, but, yeah. If you can block off the lings, you won't be in as much trouble, or especially the banelings. Letting the banelings roll up the ramp like that and having only a couple get shot while they're taking out the bunker, which is a useful thing for them to do anyway, uh, just made it a little bit too easy for me. But, eh, I can deal with it. So that will be good game, uh, the main team, signing off.